Hey, hey, cruisers, you know what time it is. It's time for some cruise news and possible updates. But let me fill you in on something first. This is the first that this has ever been done. Believe it or not, a 57-year-old man just had a heart transplant. I know you're saying, well, so what? That's no big deal. A heart transplant with a modified pig's heart. Yeah, that's right. A modified pig's heart. Crazy, huh? Well, not as crazy as what's going on with the cruise industry. And I'll let you know right after this. All right, so, yeah, um, I really have no cruise news, per se. Just want to pose a question to all, everybody out there. And is it time to cancel your cruise? What was that? I think something here is telling me, no, it's not time to cancel the cruise. But, you know, that decision lies on you. Because what's happening now is I'm sure all of you have seen and heard from all of the news outlets and uh, resources that you have for cruising and traveling, that a number of cruise ships are being denied calling into port. Not a whole lot, but still a handful. And what's happening to some people is while they're en route to their uh, port of embarkation, they get notification that, hey, your cruise has been canceled. What do you do? I mean, you've planned for weeks, if not months, to take a cruise, and then all of a sudden you get notification that, hey, cruise has been canceled. That's kind of expected right now, but not if you're almost to your port of embarkation. Mid-flight, you're there. You've come from West Coast to go to the East Coast. Maybe you've come from Europe to go to uh, Miami or something like that. What do you do then? What's the responsibility of the cruise line? Let me know in the comments what you think should be done. My thinking is possibly, why not lower the price of the cruises just a little bit with the expectation that the cruise ships are almost a, a cruise to nowhere. The cruises can pour, uh, port in hopefully their islands that they own, and then they do have a laid out destination. However, Passengers should expect that it's not 100% confirmed that they will be able to disembark in those ports of call. So with that in mind, everybody has in their head that, okay, I may be at sea for three days or four days out of my seven-day cruise, or I may call port to someplace else. What does it take for a cruise ship to change something like that uh, mid-sailing to call port somewhere else? Are some of the islands willing to allow that to happen? What do you think? What would you do? Would you go on a cruise like that, a cruise to nowhere type of situation where it's a little bit cheaper? You know, there's not going to be anything where it's any less of a service on the cruise ship itself. It's just that your destinations may be um, unknown or highly unlikely or possible that you might go there you know for me honestly when i cruise it's hasn't been about the destination in a long time because i've done so much of the cruising in the caribbean uh if it was europe or something like that the baltic uh, that might be a different story but with it being the caribbean i look at the cruise ship as the destination and that's actually what the cruise ships have been built for is a resort destination at sea so possibly perhaps it's time for the cruise lines to really make that shift and push that information and that knowledge out there uh, that the destination is the ship i know years ago that they really were doing that but it seems like that they have stepped away from that over the past 10 years or so um, but again i look at the cruise ship as my destination because it has everything that I want right there on the ship. It's just going into port is a bonus. Sure, you know, four days, five days at sea on a seven day cruise, uh, that might be a little bit too much, but you just have to go into this now knowing that that is a possibility. 
if that were to be a possibility and if the price was a little bit less, would you go? What do you think? Or are you planning on canceling your cruise now? Let me know in the comments. Let everybody read it. Let everybody know your opinion. Again, my name is Chuck Tuck. Thanks for joining me today. So long.